post-COVID future, the fourth industrial revolution is expected to bring great changes in our lives. And in the center of this new era is the AI. Say hi to my robot. Hi. <laughs> so back on track. What is the difference between artificial intelligence, aka the AI, and the computers we're using these days? Until now, computers, laptops, washing machines, mobile phones, and every single machine you, you can name of have worked passively based on the data and algorithms set by humans. Machines were not able to make self-decision making. However, new computers with AI are now able to make decisions by itself and draw optimal results. From IBM Watson's Jeopardy and the recent matches of Go, of AlphaGo, we've actually checked the abilities of computer equipped with AI being way ahead of humans. In just, a, in just a few years, AI will bring huge innovations in our life. And this coming life would be much more convenient with all the AIs doing most of our chores. But this could also cause many losses. For one big example, unemployment. All right, so now we're all shocked, right? Yeah. <laughs> this impact that we're feeling right now is not due to the fear of the domination of humans by machines. Instead, it's possibly due to the fear of resulting changes in existing, in existing economic systems due to the machine's replacement of the laboring force. When we say human labor is being replaced by machines, we tend to think that it will be limited to simple, repetitive laboring fields. However, for Dr. Watson being currently currently used in the cancer geminal analysis at the Mayo Clinic, and an AI lawyer named Rose, who was in charge of a bankruptcy case, shows that the AI are now possible to substitute professional knowledge required jobs like doctors, lawyers, teachers, and etc. The replacement of humans by machines will lead to a reorganization of the industrial structure. And this reorganization is expected to change the current economic system into what we have never ever seen before. So on Dockley, the development of AIs would replace human labor in many professional areas, including simple labor jobs. Then in this era, if this era is really going to come soon, we would have to be prepared for it. Okay, wait. I have a question. What should we prepare? And how should we prepare for it? Well, one thing for sure is that our education should not be, should not be a simple knowledge learning system anymore. Why learn stuff? that the AIs could do in seconds. Instead, we should be learning things that, are, that only humans can do, things that artificial intelligence cannot approach. Yuzong Man, the author of the book Humart Thinking, argued that to go against smart machines, humans should be equipped with things that only humans can do. The author mentioned six principles of Humart, which are Humanity, unity, manner, action, respect, and thinking. Only those who meet these six things can survive in the future society. This is why I think students should be educated to be flexible and integral in many ways the speed of knowledge processing, and the preciseness of AIs already far beyond human capacity. That's why currently, 
we need this something that could be only solved by humans. That something would be the key of, to the society with smart and mature humanity. We must constantly ask ourselves this question. How would humans be defined in the upcoming future? How would we define ourselves? Well, this could mean that we should have to go start studying philosophy, humanity, arts, rather than knowledge-based education like math, science. You get the idea. The reason human beings are different from AIs is because we pursue and create fundamental beauty by ourselves. The Renaissance, the era emerging, emerged in Europe from the 14th to the 16th century. This was a time of spiritual movement in culture and art based in the scientific revolution. If the development of AIs change the working environment, people will have more spare time. And people would come to the state of using this time to study deeply on philosophy and arts. The reason why the unknown world is frightening is because we don't know about it. But knowing this and preparing for it can bring can bring upcoming future as an expectation rather than fear. We must prepare for the AI era understanding and knowing about what's coming up. It's time for humans to compete against human-like machines, to become more humane. It's time to think about what a human being is and what is the most human-like human is. Thank you very much.